This giant ship is called the Immensity Carrier, and it kind of is immense. It's one of the biggest spaceships currently on the Steam Workshop, and it's kind of insane. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're taking a look at the Immensity Carrier by Allied Armor, who has made this fantastic Steam Workshop creation. It's made by Armadillo Industries, so AI, and it's basically called the Immensity Class Carrier. Designed by the United Navies to carry out a small task force and aid in orbital incursions as a base of operations. Now, it is marked as a station in game right now. As you can probably see in some of the panning shots, this thing is huge. And I can't really emphasize that point enough. It is very, very big. It's no mods, no script. There are DLC and there are subgrids. You can see some of the Sea Wizards parked in there. We'll take a look at it in more detail in just a second. The carrying capacity of this carrier is absolutely insane for space engineers. For example, it can take 48 fighters, 16 dropships or shuttles, 8 gunboats or smaller large ships, and 2 capital class ships. Now, I'm not sure where I'd get all of these ships to try and dock on it, whether I use my own, or maybe uh, Armored Industries might have some of their own, but it is a... Uh, it's still pretty immense. No, it cannot fly in atmosphere. It's designed to sit in orbit and insert ships into the ground so they into atmosphere. So these could be cargo transports or bombers or invading craft, but it's got a lot of stuff to actually arm there. It's got a sizable defense as well. So there's 24 custom Gatlin turrets and 24 artillery turrets. So this thing can probably put up a good defense, but you'd probably want to launch some of its own subcraft. So yeah, this thing can put up a good defense, but you'd probably want to launch some of its own carrying capacity to actually defend the ship. Some of those fighters or something else, that's my point being here. Okay, and what you're waiting for, let's take a look, an in-depth look at this ship and see what we've got. What is over here? I want to see what's on the ring. These just sort of like things piling over. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. I thought those were the artillery cannons for a second. We've got to find them in a minute. I'm presuming over there. But one thing I immediately want to point out here is the Sea Wiz cannons. These look amazing. Look at these. So you typically see these obviously on uh, battleships or modern day battleships. They always see wizards there made for AA defense and things like that. Um, these ones here, we're using the Warfare Gatling guns and also the Vanilla Gatling guns, which have been in the game for the last 10 or so years, something like that, which is pretty cool. Also, the new camera as well, really, really nice there. And it's nice having it. It just sort of breaks up the weapons a little bit, and I'm loving it. Great bit of design detailing going on over here again. Use of the pillar blocks or bring this sort of design out there and linking in. I really like this front section as it sort of like brings up design. It could have been flat and just kept this basic. But when you zoom out and look at them here, you can sort of see tell the detailing going on here. I also love that if we go out too far, the engines do turn off because we're out of SC's render distance. It's quite, a, <laughs> it says a lot to the scale of the ship, doesn't it? It's based with the immensely wreck encounters in the game Zion or Zion. Um, yeah, I don't actually know that game myself. Some of you in the comments might do. If you have played it, let me know what you think. Uh, if it's pretty cool, and uh, we can talk about it a bit more. So down the sort of like central column here, we've got docking ports for like other ships as well. So you could dock fires here, but I'm actually most likely for the big ones, the gunboats or the capital ships. Maybe some drop ships and shuttles you'd park here. We sort of got all the connectors leading out here, and they sort of fit all in here very, very nicely. We do have hangar axes here, so we've got one there. One there, and I believe we've got two more up here. There you go. So there's four on each side, making eight inches in total, which is pretty cool. We'll check those out in just a second. We're going to focus on the exterior for a minute. On the other end of the carrot, it's pretty much the same here. We've got the sea wizards and sort of the profiling. Very, very nice. Now, what I hear, I love the United Navy sort of paneling going on here. This is making use of SC's new panel blocks, and it sort of has the UN logo going on there. That looks really cool. United Navy's written there as well. What I'm loving here is the sort of like way the hull is built because it's using sort of hinge blocks to sort of create this design here now and we're not really inside because I'm taking over the snoop around here. But all our thrusters are hidden away in here and these sort of like cube blocks. Uh, players of SC will know how these are created. We're sort of using slope blocks going down here to create this sort of style. I'm trying to find where the rotor might be. But I can't quite notice where it is. It's usually hidden around here somewhere. I imagine it might be hidden at the other end. It's possibly over here somewhere. I'd imagine. I'd imagine so. Oh, there we go. So very hinge block here is hidden away, and that is what sort of creates this sort of like whole platform block going on here, which is really nice. Mainly because if it got shot there, then you know it would take off the entire thing, which is a little bit concerning. Again, using panning blocks here to create sort of like armor decals going down here. It is all entirely flat, all going along here. But if you notice, this bit of the cat actually curves in here to give that sort of uniform look going along there. I personally love that. Now we found the artillery cannons. These are actually our full-size weapons here. They're not custom. These are vanilla artillery cannons. I do love a bit of detail in going on here, adding this bit in just to sort of break it up. Because these could have been left here by themselves. But adding in sort of the beam blocks here or the half-cut ones, really, really cool. 
more seawizards is docked up here as well now here's sort of a central command operations area of the sort of immensity carrier we've got an airlock structure on here as well on the ring section so you know another capital ship could dock to there or something like that but also we do have this part of the rings or breaking up and going up here we'll take a look at that in a second car container access and all things like that very very nice and i presume this is the sort of catwalk system going over yep we'll take a proper look inside in a second but you can see there is the bridge section we've been looking at the carrier from the other way around but it kind of is like the same the whole way it's not massively different, so it's not a big concern. But we've got the bridge going up here as well. Not a massive command center. I kind of expect a bigger one with that stuff going on on this carrier. But I guess we'll look around in a second and see if there's anything else hidden away inside the ship. But it is sort of different over here, so it's not completely parallel. There is differences going on there. So pretty good. Uh, enough car containers of things going on. It is very nice. Now, looking at the exterior of the ring here, we sort of got structures building up to our giant engine pods. So this is what's going to move the carrier here. So each little pod has four thrusters on each side there, four hydrogen thrusters directing which way we're going. And it's making use of the industrial um, engine mod here. Well, not the mod, sorry, the industrial sort of like pack version of this linking up to the hydrogen chamber as well. Very nice. And it sort of links up here as well. I don't think you can actually play inside the ring. There's a window up here. Yeah, there's nothing really going on, so you can't really get inside the ring, unfortunately. Um, would be pretty cool, I guess, if you could walk around it, but not really needed. I wish there was some sort of, like, maintenance shafts going on, but it doesn't look to be the case. I'm presuming there's a sort of gravity well going around here, so maybe you can walk around it, because there's catwalks going on here, or jumping light. We can teleport our character in. If I turn off my thing, oh no, I was hoping it'd be, like, a small gravity ring. I don't think there is, so you'd have to, like, walk around it manually. If you want it, there we go, so you can sort of do it. He's got to be careful of how you do it. Can we walk under that? No, so we can't actually walk under this. So I guess we have to do this. There you go. So it's a bit difficult to get around, but you get the gist. Okay, now we're going to be inside of a ship here. So flying in one of the hangar bays in the central column here, we've got a lot going on. So all these areas are docking for fighters and drop ships. Most of the drop ships will sit here, and then your fighters will dock up here because you've got sort of like the access craft in there, which is very nice. Now in terms of the front section, it's nothing much going on here. It's just sort of cargo access and reactor access and things like that. You don't really want to get involved here. Most of this section is just by itself. It's pretty straightforward and simple. You already connect to access here. All your places for your like, you know, engineers and soldiers to get on board. Very nice. I do wish there was hangar doors here, but there probably wouldn't be any space to fit them in. It would be nice if the SC actually gives force fields one day, or at least airtight force fields. I know Keen aren't too keen about putting in, you saw what I did there, about putting in shields, but airtight forces would kind of be good. I'd like that personally. Going through this section, we do have a hangar observation area above us, or like a flight control, I guess, if we're looking back to Battlestar. Airlock through here. General crew quarters, we'll drop our character in now, and now we can go for an actual walk around. What's through here? Oh, I vented the entire ship. It just must be crew quarters. Yeah, okay, so all your pilots are probably here. Maybe action station pilots. For some reason for this ship, I'm thinking about it's very Battlestar-esque in the interior, where you're going to have, like, pilots sitting around waiting, like, action stations. It's like we've got a lot of production stuff going back here as well. I'm hoping a way we can probably find a way to the bridge. It might be this way. Can I just say, I really love the interior design going on here. Like, I don't know why. This sort of, like, way they're using when you sort of, like, half blocks here and the doors all together looks really cool. I don't know what this is going on here, but it's sort of like control blocks. Maybe this is like gunnery control or something like that. That would make sense. I'm guessing this way might lead to what I'm looking for. That's the airlock of where there. That'll be the other sections of the ship. Let's go take a look at the bridge. Oh, no, this is just a general airlock. Okay. How do I get... Oh, I don't think we can get that way, can we? No, so... I guess the only way to walk on the other side of a ship from there is to take sort of like that approach. So I guess we're going to have to go in via this way and take a look. It's cool. We'll go in the airlock here because I can show you guys what the airlock looks like. It turns out a bridge airlock's on the outside the whole time. Um, I was kind of expecting like an actual stairwell going up here or something like that. The bridge thing is to say, oh, there's a stairwell here. Did I just miss it? Okay, I must have missed it completely. Oh, there you go. But, oh, I completely missed it. It's just a little block hidden away there. I completely missed that. But okay, if we go back up, I can show you where the bridge is. We've got a few crew, crew quarters here and there on our way out. There's like another one there. There we go. Right, boom, boom, boom. If we come up here, we've got our flight control area, which is pretty cool, I guess. It's going to be more of like an actual ship. It is in full station mode, isn't it? We can't control this thing. I'll just prove it. It's in station mode here, so I can convert it to ship. In terms of blocks, almost 60,000 blocks. PCU is 300,000, or almost 330,000. Over 5,000 flares, 1,000 plus thrusters, over 1,300 lights. No spotlights, actually. 12 gravity generators, and triangles over 100 million, which is, uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Keep that in mind there. No good mass either. 
So this has been the immensely class carrier. Should you download it in the Steam Workshop? Yes. Should you play it in game? I'd give it a try. If you've got a weaker system and you're running space engines on it, maybe not. This probably could catch fire to your ship uh, or your system. Probably the ship and system to be fair. But it's pretty cool to check out in game. Allied armor has outdone themselves in this. I love the scale of this one and how cool it looks to be fair. Like I love big carriers. It sort of reminds me of EVE Online and things like that. Um, if you know the game it's from, do let me know. I sadly don't. Maybe it's something we can play at some point. Either way, a very cool way to start the week in Space Engineers. This looks pretty, pretty cool. I can't wait to see more creations from Armadillo Industries. And if they uh, put up any fighters, I need to check out the fighters and see if we can sort of like stock the ship full of things. That could be pretty cool. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you very soon. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later. Goodbye.